In this video, you will learn about the most important highway project of Afghanistan, Yakavalang Highway of Darasuf. In Afghanistan's north-south corridor, a project beyond road building had begun, a road that would create an economic and social connection between the north and the south. This road, from the deep valleys of Samangan to the green plains of Bamyan province, and passing through mountains, foothills, and green plains, established a deep and important connection between the regions of Afghanistan. When this project is completed, it could bring prosperity and economic prosperity to the poor families of these areas, and take steps towards the development and prosperity of the country's trade. But will this dream become a reality? Will this road save this geographical prison? Follow this video to learn about the concerns, hopes, and expectations of the people and the effects of this project on the Afghan economy. The bituminous work of the Dere Suf Samangan Yakavalang Bamiyan Highway had started a few years ago, and 10 kilometers of this highway is tarred. This road is 183 kilometers long and 7 meters wide, passing through the mountains, foothills, and plains of Samangan, connecting the north of the country to the central province of Bamyan. This is the shortest way to connect ancient Bamyan to the north and most parts of the country. The cost of asphalting this highway is estimated at $204 million, which is paid by the Asian Development Bank. The bituminous work of Der Safyakavalang Highway has progressed by 15%. According to the passing of Der Safyakavalang Road among thousands of poor families, economic experts say that the completion of the bitumen work of this road will bring prosperity and economic prosperity to many families. The Yakavalang Suf Valley Road project was opened seven years ago by former President Ashraf Ghani in Bamyan. But so far, the work of its construction has not ended. This road is supposed to connect Bamyan province to the north of Afghanistan through Samangan province and is part of the north-south corridor of Afghanistan. With the completion of this project, the people of Bamyan and the central regions of the country will be saved from the geographical prison. The Afghan government had signed a contract for this project with a Chinese company. The Chinese Road Construction Company, CRBC, was supposed to complete this road at a cost of $204 million in three and a half years. This project was one of the programs funded by the Asian Development Bank in Afghanistan. But now, years have passed since the beginning of this project. A question arises whether this north-south corridor of the country will be completed or not. Unfortunately, this big project is currently stopped, and its work again is not yet known. The unfinished part of this project can also face the risk of destruction. People expected this project to be completed and to bring the expected eases. The Yakavalang, Suf Valley Road, can be an alternative to the Salang route, a path that has problems every year. The construction work of several other sections of this route, including 135 kilometers from Mazar-e-Sharif to Darasuf, 43 kilometers from Bamyan to Yakavlang, and 194 kilometers from Kandahar to Chora, was completed by the year 1400 AH. However, the work of 183 kilometers of Yakavalang Dare Suf Road was not completed in the appointed time. It is said that the governments of Afghanistan had an ethnic view of the projects, and in fact, the governments did not consider the local consumption and saw the beneficiaries. The Taliban government says that it will complete the unfinished projects, and after the release of the frozen funds of Afghanistan, the work of these projects will begin. The money that economic experts do not believe is the support of Afghanistan's currency. Even if this money is released, it is not for the cost of development programs. Rather, this money plays a role in maintaining the value of the country's currency along with political issues. The central bank uses this money to regulate inflation and recession, and its use for normal programs calls into question the independence of the central bank. The Taliban government says that the construction of Yakavalang Dara Suf Road has progressed by 64%, but due to the suspension of the Asian Development Bank, this project has also been stopped. Currently, 
There are hundreds of machines from Chinese companies in the field, and we hope that they will start working in the future. Another concern is that this road will be damaged by the traffic of heavy trucks until the Yakavalang Dar Suf road starts working again. The north-south corridor is 909 kilometers long and passes through Balk, Samangan, Bamyan, Daikundi, and Uruzgan provinces and continues to Kandahar province. The north-south corridor will connect South Asia to Central Asia and provide the basis for transit and trade development. At present, Central Asia is connected with South Asia through Torkum port, which is difficult for cargo vehicles to pass through the Salang and Mahipur highways. With the construction of the north-south corridor, this road will replace the difficult routes Salang and Mahipar. This road starts from Yakavalang district of Bamyan province and extends to Darasuf district of Samangan province. It has a length of 183 kilometers, a general width of 10 meters, 7 meters of crossing line and 3 meters of asphalt shoulders. It is constructed in two lanes. The Yakovlang Dara Suf Road is a part of the North-South Corridor, which, with the completion of this corridor, in addition to connecting the northern provinces of Afghanistan with the South, has played an important role in the economic growth of Afghanistan, providing more facilities and a better transportation system for the transfer of commercial goods, and provides agricultural products. The implementation of this project has created job opportunities for a number of residents of the road, and with the completion of this section, different areas of the road will benefit from the advantages of the asphalt road. This project has eight bridges of different sizes, 194 check bridges and 5,950 meters of retaining wall. 37 small and large villages are located on the path of this road, and the roads of Yekavalang, Dehbehbo, Kodabaz, Dain Tor, and Dare Suf pass through it. Dara Suf Samangan Yakawalang Bamiyan Highway has important benefits for the people and economy of Afghanistan. By connecting the north of the country to the central province of Bamiyan, this road improves access to the central regions of the country and acts as the shortest route to connect Bamiyan with the north and most parts of the country. Also, this project will bring prosperity and economic prosperity to poor and deprived families in the areas crossing this road. With the completion of this highway, it will be possible to improve transit and trade in Afghanistan and can help reduce dependence on difficult routes such as Salang. This project generally helps in economic development, connecting different regions of the country, and increasing job opportunities in the prestigious areas of Afghanistan. Thanks for watching. Bye until the next video.